from your breaking news and weather authority. This is 13 Wham News Midday. We have a report of a tour bus that flipped. Report of uh, people ejected. It's going to be westbound 490 near Union Street. Breaking news this midday, dozens hospitalized and one person in critical condition after a tour bus rolled over on 490. And remarks from President Biden following the results of the presidential election, his preparations for a peaceful transfer of power to now President-elect Donald Trump. We have a lot to get to this midday. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Joseph. We began with that rollover crash on 490 westbound, sending 28 passengers on the bus to four area hospitals. We have live team coverage as an investigation continues. Our Christian Garzon and Chris Lopez have been following this story. Yep. Sheriff Todd Baxter says that tour bus left around midnight uh, from New York City, bound for Niagara Falls. We're told the driver of the bus is being cooperative and no drugs or alcohol are suspected at this time. We're also told this is a criminal investigation, although there's nothing criminal about this per se. That has more to do with the size and the scope of the resources and manpower needed at this time. The focus now is tracking down the families of the victims so they are all aware. The accident now with the walking wounded one Wandering around was jarring for many first responders showing up. It was that surreal moment, you know, you train for these things, but when you pull up and actually see a bus flipped on its side and people literally walking in a state of confusion on the side of the road trying to figure out what just happened to them uh, as they were just thrown about a, inside a bus, right? So uh, it, was, it was surreal. It was, it was, it was things you train for, but you, you don't ever expect to see in your life. Unfortunately, we have one of the patients that is critical, uh, and uh, we'll share more information later when we find out uh, the status of that patient. But we. Our sympathy to the families, the people that are going through a lot of uh, anxiety right now that don't know where their loved ones are. Yeah, 28 people in the hospital uh, right now. Well, the eastbound section of 490 is open uh, to my right. Behind me here, the section of 490 westbound will remain closed for the afternoon. Uh, for any family members who think their loved ones might have been involved in this bus crash, there's a number to call. That's 585-753-4455. Live in Chile, like Christian Garzone, 13 Wham, right back to you. Thank you, Christian. The sheriff says victims have been sent to four area hospitals affiliated with URMC and Rochester Regional Health. Their team's working hard to care for everyone involved. Rochester Regional Health issuing this statement saying, quote, our team is prepared and fully mobilized, working quickly to provide care to those affected. Our priority is the safety and well-being of all patients and staff and resources have been allocated to manage this influx effectively, adding that this is a scenario we regularly train for and we are coordinating closely with local EMS and law enforcement to ensure a swift and organized response. Meantime, URMC explained how 13 of those victims were taken to Strong Hospital. One adult was taken for emergency services surgery, while the others, including a child, are being evaluated, but they do not believe that child to have serious injuries. Sheriff Todd Baxter also saying earlier that nearly every EMT unit in the area assisted, including multiple fire bureaus and law enforcement officials, to help transport patients. We turn now to our Chris Lopez, who has more on that effort. Chris, what have you heard? Yeah, Steph, so we were told the majority of people were already off the bus by the time emergency crews arrived. Two people did have to be removed from the bus. One was a child who suffered minor injuries. The other, the individual that was critically hurt in this. Now, we spoke to Frank Manzo from CHS, the lead EMS agency on this mass casualty incident. He says the response was quick. It was great. All of the crews worked quickly together to get the patients the medical treatment they needed. And there was a great triage um, that happened to determine who needed to go first, who was very sick, who was still on the bus. We absolutely practice on this. Um, obviously, it's very difficult for us to simulate real life. Um, you know, when we practice in a field or on a road, the roads usually close, right? So now we had definitely had some ambulances get caught up in the traffic, certainly in that westbound traffic where the bus was in the between exits. And we were told by Frank Mansell that there was a total of 18 ambulances used. They were pulled from Genesee County all the way to Penfield in this. Steph? 
Chris, thank you. And again, that number for families to call to reconnect with their loved ones is on your screen here, 585-753-4455. The Sheriff's Office says you can contact that office for any updates. And we have reached out to the bus company for any updates or a statement on their end and have not yet heard back. Stick with 13 Web News on air and online for updates as this investigation unfolds.